Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren Whitney and I'm, hey. <laughs> Welcome back. I know it's been a while. We're not even going to get into all that. We're just going to do some makeup and catch up. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about what's been going on really, really quick and what the basis of this video is. This video is for all of my friends who I've had that girl, we need to go makeup shopping together because I don't even know where to start conversations with. I promise y'all all the time that we're going to do it and you know who you are. We're going to do it in this fashion, virtually, and all of my virtual friends can come along and enjoy this with us. This is just about getting the basic items that you need to create a full face. These are more like product categories that we're covering today, not necessarily specific brands. However, I do want to highlight one brand in this video and that is Minted Cosmetics. The reason I want to highlight Minted today is because I have recently become a Minted Cosmetics affiliate. I can give 15% off Minted purchases to my online community by using a discount code which I am going to put right here. Um, Minted is having a sale right now. I am going to read the details of the sale and put them down in the description box also. But the plus to this is that you can still use my discount code on top of that. Now let's get into this makeup. So before we start applying any makeup, we need to actually go shopping for it, right? So let's pop into Target and Ulta and see what we can find. Oh, and quick disclaimer, I had to clean the aisles in the stores just so that I could film good footage in there, but I'm gonna need the Ulta and the Target on Cobb Parkway to do better. So first things first, I immediately jumped into skincare because you want your skin underneath your makeup to be well taken care of. I needed to re-up on my moisturizer. I needed to get some makeup remover wipes and I also needed to get a new bottle of cleanser. Lips are definitely included in my skin prep so I wanna try this coconut lip treatment by Minted Cosmetics. An eyebrow pencil is definitely an essential. I would recommend this one by Minted Cosmetics. I've used it in the past and it is comparable to the one that I'll be using in today's video. Don't forget to grab you a mascara. I highly recommend the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black. And don't forget to get you some good tools to apply your makeup if you're starting completely from scratch. I will list my most used makeup tools that can be found both online and in store in the description box down below. For your base makeup, you're gonna need to lay down a primer. You're also gonna need a foundation and a concealer. You're gonna need some powder products to set all of those creams. Some of my favorite powder products are the Dermablend Pro Loose Setting Powder as well as the Loose Setting Powder by Makeup Revolution. And I'm also gonna show you multiple ways that you can use a blush. Lashes are optional, but if you wanna give them a try, I recommend the Ardell Lash Brand because they are very lightweight. And I also like to use the Duo Brush On Lash Glue in Black. I'm trying out some new lip products from Minted Cosmetics, but I recommend that you guys just get whichever lip combinations that you prefer. Definitely get a lip liner with a lip gloss or a lipstick. And lastly, you're gonna get yourself a setting spray to set everything. I use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm going to insert some clips. I don't know how I'm going to edit it. I um, did start with skincare. I did that before I even turned on the camera. I'm going to prep my lips and I'm going to prep my skin for the makeup by applying a lip balm and a primer. So for the lip balm, I did buy a minted lip product and it is the Minted Balms Away Coconut Lip Treatment. I would give my skin products at least 15 to 30 minutes before you start applying your makeup. You don't want your face to be slippery when you're applying your makeup. You want your makeup to sit on top of your skin prep so that your pores are covered and you don't have makeup clogging your pores and your skin. This is a primer I've been dying to try. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer and it is a dupe for the Milk Primer that's really popular right now. Now you don't have to use this primer. There are some other good ones. And then also I will list my favorite items from each category in my description box down below as well. While that is sitting, we're gonna go ahead and get 
into brows. But you wanna get yourself a good brow pencil. So you're gonna take your pencil and you're just gonna brush your brow hairs up in the direction that you want them to go. And you're just gonna create like hair like strokes doing these little strokes does not look like i'm doing much of anything it feels like nothing is depositing onto my face but when i go and carve this out everything is going to come together i am going to go underneath my brow just to give it a little bit of shape like that and you can barely see that little line i created i also kind of drew a little light line over top just again to help me create that shape. I do go back once I've applied my base and sometimes I touch up my brows um, throughout the process. Like if I feel like I lost a little bit of definition or if I notice like a gap or a hole, but yeah, our brows are done. Now I'm gonna be using two different concealers in today's process. I'm gonna use one that's closer to my skin tone and I'm gonna use one that's a little bit brighter so that I can highlight my under eye area. It's a Juvia's Place concealer and I am in the shade 12. I'm gonna take a thin concealer brush, I'll just kind of rub it down just to kind of tap some of that excess product off because you don't want it to be gunked up on here. You're just carving your brows out. So I'm just going to go underneath just to define my brow shape. I'm actually gonna go on top with my foundation color. Just I just did one little pump of foundation. All right, everything look a little crazy right now, but just hang in there. We gon' we gon' pull it together. Our primer has been sitting and sitting. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our base makeup. You want your sponge to be damp, not wet. Squeeze it tight. You don't want any more water coming out. You just want it to be damp. Let's just be clear on that. I am going to get out a couple of brushes. They're both kind of like domed. This is actually like a powder brush, but I love this for multiple uses just because it does apply the foundation quicker, the fluffier the brush, less cake you're gonna get. So I'm gonna use this for my, my foundation and I'm gonna use this smaller domed brush for my under eye concealer. We're gonna keep it minimum, we don't want it heavy. We're gonna apply our concealer where it goes and I'm gonna apply my foundation in the remaining open space once I'm done with that. I am going to highlight my under eye just a little bit and just know that you can skip this step. This is a good amount lighter than my skin tone. I accidentally bought the wrong concealer and the brand I'm using is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is in the shade medium beige. Hindsight. I kind of wanted to get away from bringing that concealer all the way back to the hairline, but it's okay, we're, we're here now, so we're just gonna commit. And we're gonna switch tools here in just a second to get up in that inner corner and also kind of just melt this product into the skin. Also, any excess product, I didn't add, but I'm kind of gonna go under my lip here. Also, my chin. These are other areas of the face that I would highlight but I'm just spreading around that product that I already added. There's no need to add additional product because that was plenty. And then I'm gonna now take my beauty sponge. The beauty sponge absorbs product as well. So if you have a lot of excess or you have some excess that you kind of just want to take a little bit away, the beauty sponge can definitely do that for you. The beauty sponge that I'm using is by Beauty Bakery, but I did um, show you guys two sponges that are good and that's with e.l.f. and um, that's the e.l.f. sponges and the Sonia Kushek. And the Sonia Kushek is really good because it's huge so you cover a lot of face at one time. So I'm also kind of just blending out the edges of that concealer with my sponge as well. See that defined line? I'm just gonna take my sponge and kind of blend that. Now, if you are gonna do a cream contour, this is the method that I like to use. So I am gonna use the Black Opal um, True Color Foundation Stick. And this is in the shade Ebony Brown, which is a pretty deep, cool toned brown. And then I'm gonna take an angled brush to apply my cream contour. So, and you can build it up like this. So I'm just adding very little, uh, small amounts until I start to see that sculpt 
come together. And that little line you see right there, we're gonna blend that out with another product in just a second. I think I wanna cream contour my nose just a little bit and I'm probably gonna regret doing this as soon as I start. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush, it's kinda angled. And I'm gonna take that sponge and kinda go up next to it. And even though you see that defined line now, it everything is you're just going to start to see it get cleaner and cleaner as we go. All right, so now finally it's time to apply foundation. And you'll find that you really don't need that much foundation because you have a lot already happening as far as your base. And I just do about one squirt. And the foundation that I'm using today is the NARS um, a natural radiant long wear foundation. This is a foundation that I've had for a while and I really don't use it as much as I should. Um, but it is a great foundation for the fall and winter months. I'm just going to take that large powder brush and I'm going to blend it out. And it's not only blending my foundation, but it's also cleaning up around the edges and blending all of the other products that I laid down. Oh, and I like to take any like excess product and drag it down my neck. Good. Okay, so now that we've done our creams, let's get into our powders. I'm just gonna kinda go back over that area with my sponge. We wanna keep it like nice and smoothed out. The Makeup Revolution Banana Deep Setting Powder. Tap that. I am going to take my sponge and I'm just going to roll it into that powder like that and kind of tap some off. But also, we're not gonna go directly onto our face with this like we used to. We're going to tap that excess off on the back of our hand. Then we're gonna go under our under eye, right up in that corner, tap, tap, tapping. Tapping the whole time because you want to press this product in. You almost want to blend it out with the Beauty Blender while you're pressing it. I mean, I'm going to let it kind of sit up in this little nook for a second. But out here, let's just go ahead and blend it. The natural oils of your skin is going to come through. Get rid of some of that powdery finish as well as the dampness from your Beauty Blender. It just kind of sandwiches that powder in and it makes a nice blend. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just get a little bit more of that powder. Also, if my brows look a little bit oily to me while I'm doing my makeup, after I've tapped it in the areas that I want it to go, I might tap it over my brow area so that they don't look greasy. All right, so we're gonna let that sit like that. And now we are going to concentrate on bronzing and our eyes. I'm just going to touch up my brows a little bit because now that my base is pretty much done, I want to redefine anything that I might have lost in the front of my brow. Okay, so now let's get into the eyes and the bronzer and the blush. And to make it very, very simple, we are gonna use one product for all three of these things. We are gonna use the Minted Cosmetics Blush, and it is in the shade Clay Too Much. So for eyeshadow, we're just gonna sweep this over the eye. I'm gonna take a fluffy eyeshadow brush, and I'm gonna start with the outside and kinda just blend inward. And you can just focus on the lid right now. Don't even worry about trying to blend it up. Just kind of sweep it over your lid. Boom, and that's literally all you have to do. You kind of want to look down while you're doing this so your eye lays kind of flat and that's how you're going to get that color not just only on your lid but also up in your eye socket and your crease. So shapes of brushes really matter. But this is a domed, it's large, it's kind of tapered, so you get a lot of coverage. It's just gonna do the work for you. My favorite brush to bronze with is the Morphe M405. I'm going into that same blush. Tap, tap, sweep, sweep. Tap that excess off. 
and you're gonna start at the highest point of your cheekbones right where you laid down that contour just a hair above it and you're going to gently tap and sweep up towards your ear and your hairline. I love this product, just let me say for dual purpose because it adds that rosiness and it also adds the warmth. And I'm gonna also just set and warm the parameters of my face. And I know that this is a blush, but it's deeper. Where I see areas that look like, I still feel like I see like a little half moon shape here. I'm actually gonna take that brush that I use to blend out my foundation and just kind of go over all of those areas. Just kind of go over the entire face. I didn't use a ton of foundation, so this is not going to mess up anything. This is not gonna smear foundation anywhere. And this is a fluffy brush, which is the benefit to using a, a blush, I mean a brush with some fluff. I'm gonna take a large pointed powder brush from e.l.f. and just sweep away any excess powder that might be up in this area. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in the shade Mahogany, and I'm gonna take that same little angled eyeshadow brush, tap off any excess, and I'm just gonna kinda go over that area that I put down the black opal cream. Then with that foundation brush, I'm just gonna kinda go over it just to get rid of any harsh line. We're gonna go ahead and finish off our eyes with eyeliner and lashes. I am going to go into my waterline with a black eyeliner, Wet and Wild. It's an eye coal, and I really like it because it was inexpensive, but the quality is really good. It glides well. Like I don't even have to pull my eye down. It just kind of glides in there. Anytime you see coal, that is a more pigmented eyeliner and it usually glides a little bit better. I wanna do a little bit of a wing. I've lost it when it comes to my wing and I'm trying to get better. So let me try to just do it and see if I can make it look good and not ruin everything I just did. Um, for lashes, I'm gonna use Lashes by Amethyst Stone. Surprise, surprise, my girl. Um, these are in the style Queenie. I also did show you guys some lashes that I like to buy or gravitate to when I'm shopping for them in store. Check out some of the ones that I showed you by Kiss. So I'm just applying that Duo Eyelash Glue. I also have an eyelash tutorial as well on my YouTube channel. I am gonna put one eyelash on for y'all, but uh, I do have a more detailed video. While the glue is drying, we're gonna go ahead and put our mascara on. This is the L'Oreal mascara that I showed you guys in Carbon Black. So I'm gonna take and pinch the center and I'm gonna apply it as close to that lash line. I'm almost touching the band. Look down into a mirror and we're going to sit it dead center as close to our natural lashes as we can get it. Now that that's there, I'm just gonna take the outer corner and push it up. And then I'm gonna take that inner corner and push it up. But I gotta be quiet because I'll mess it up if I don't. But I pinched them also with my fingers as I went across and the lash is on. Okay y'all, so I just did my reels, TikToks, shorts, all that. And I hope I did it right. This is my first time doing like a lippy, like try on haul. Girl, my lips are so dry. Oh my gosh, they're feeling so dry. So let's go ahead and get into our lip application. If you go back in my history and look at my other videos or go to my Instagram page and look at some of my reels and short videos on there you you will see that I have been using minted based on everything I tried on I think I want to go with the lip pencil in the shade night I start with the out of corn outer corner of my lips on both the upper and the lower and just kind of slowly work my way in because when you start on the inside and you can end up dragging it too far and it just 
it's kind of smears in your outer corner and it looks messy so you can keep it tight and clean by starting with the outside and like working your way in i am going to use um one of their satin lipsticks as a base and this is in pretty in pink and then i'm going to go over top of it with the gloss i'm not going to wipe away the gloss i laid down I'm just gonna kinda go in the center of my lip and then I'm just gonna top it off one more time. Okay, y'all, and that is the final look. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. I hope that I can cut it down to just all the key points because I want it to be fun and informative. Give it a thumbs up if it was. Please let me know if it was helpful for you, especially those of you who we've had this discussion about makeup application and what do you need to buy? You don't know where to start. Please let me know if this video was helpful for you. I hope it achieved everything that you wanted to accomplish in person. Don't forget to use the affiliate link if you want additional money off of any of your minted cosmetic purchases. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in my next video.